It takes a tremendous amount of confidence to make decisions at such an early age. Well, I was getting a lot of reinforcement as an actor, but I, um, I could also see my own limitation. And even though Happy Days was continuing to go along and be very successful and very lucrative, uh, that I, I had to check myself, and I was beginning to direct during the off-seasons and loving it. Well, I would imagine in that age, you say you want to direct films, and the response isn't what it would be today. No, I got a lot of very patronizing pats on the head. You did. Yeah, and the director saying, "Yeah, when you, I, you keep it up, when you get into your 30s, you know, I, I, you know, keep, keep making short films and things, you know." So the one place a new young filmmaker could have a chance to not have to scrape the money together, you know, uh, uh, on their own, was working for Roger Corman. The B-movie king. Yeah, this offer came in for a movie called Eat My Dust. And when this came to me, I thought, oh, oh, this is, this is an opportunity maybe. And I went to the meeting with Roger, and I said, to be honest, I don't really love Eat My Dust, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I should have been wearing the t-shirt. What I really want to do is direct. Yeah. And uh, he said, here's what I'll do. If you'll star and eat my dust, um, I will give you an opportunity to develop a story. And so I, I did it, it was a hit. And I went in and pitched a lot of ideas for kind of cool indie style movies I thought I'd want to make, a cool sci-fi thing, and right. a noir kind of movie. And I had a lot of ideas. And he said, well, those are all great. But he said, when we were testing titles for Eat My Dust, there was another title that came in a very close second, Grand Theft Auto. He was very, Roger's a very erudite man. Grand Theft Auto. If you can fashion a car crash comedy, starring yourself, of course, that we can correctly entitle Grand Theft Auto, that's a picture I might make. <laughs> and, really? Based I on mean, the title? Yeah. It was the fastest green light I think I've ever gotten in my, in my life. No kidding. Uh, and, we, and I got to make Grand Theft Auto, and it led to a lot of great things. And most important of all, our rap party was this impromptu, gathering out at, right next to the Sauga Speedway where we'd finished shooting this car demolition derby sequence on our last day. The second unit was there, the first unit was there, we were all there, filthy. And it was just impromptu, doing shots, listening to whatever the bar band was, and dancing. And I remember saying to my wife Cheryl, I like this even more than I dreamed I would, you know? And so I was completely hooked.